during training sessions or even after training sessions some of the candidates ask that what will i be doing after i complete my sccm trainings right so today's video is not the technical one where i'll be explaining about sccm fundamentals but today's video is about what sccm admin actually do when you know you are joined as an sccm admin to some organization what actually sccm admin will be doing actually you will be doing after you join as an sccm admin or the sccm team right so first i would like to start with there are a few levels right there is a l1 level which is a service desk and then there we have l2 service desk assigns tickets to l2 right and then level 2 technicians they are the sccm admins they work on those tickets tickets can be like user tickets where users were not able to install an application or facing some issue which we'll discuss in second point then there are l3s which are the technical leads so they take care of the new implementations and they lead the team and that sort of stuff right so moving to the next point is working on user tickets so there are few users or maybe 25000 users in your organization or 60000 users in your organizations right so they face issues with some applications right like for example you have pushed some of the applications to the machines new application or adobe any any any, any such applications you have pushed and few users are facing issues and they are raising tickets now so those tickets will be assigned to you by the service desk if you are l2 uh, sccm admin so you have to contact the users and if you know the fix you have to perform the fix and close those tickets for these tickets uh, there is a tool called service now uh, which is used so if you join any of the organization you will be asked uh, to monitor the ticket queue service now ticketing tool so if you want more uh, information on it you can google it you can find uh, tickets like this there will be a queue there will be an incident number starting with inc right like this so there is a service now guide actually it's there you can refer it right what is service now there could be any other tool also for ticketing so this is what it looks like right then you have to enter your credentials and once you have the access you will see something like this this is the interface right this is there must be some url for it you have to open it and you can see your changes like this in if you click on incidents you will find your incidents for your team there will they will be assigned on your name right and you have to contact the ticket has information like this so if i can open this image uh, open image in a new tab like this there will be few tickets right who opened the ticket the user facing the issue david miller for example here it is this is the ticket number right what is his query what is the issue he is facing unable to access some shared folder it could be application that cannot sign into the company portal if it's in tune or cannot install any particular app so this is like it is once you click on incident you can get get the details of the user and you have to contact the user now for contacting and all these things we use teams teams is a microsoft product which is from the office 365 and there will be uh, users mentioned here you can search your team uh, groups or uh, uh, 
your colleagues also then you can chat with them if i found like if i have one user ethan uh because this is the test environment it's not the project uh, i mean the real environment but the product will be the same you can find your name right here you will find your name uh, this like this right and then you can uh contact your teams you can schedule meetings here right so if you click on new meeting you can schedule the meeting you can you have to type the name of the person you want to have a meetings or you will receive the invites for the meetings like client calls and all so there are few meetings which which are happening in the office with the client or within your team so you will find the details here so basically this is for uh, chatting calls if you want to call anyone you can call on the teams right so this is used for this is commonly used heavily used i would say in the offices for mails there is another software which is used and we call it as outlook like you use gmail right for mails but at office this is the part of office 365 so this is used as this is what we use at offices right so this product is called as office outlook it's a part of office suite so uh, teams outlook and excel you will find everything because then this will be part of your user license so in simple words let's go back to the word file sorry my pc is freezing this is the lab environment oh okay so for tickets service now you will be using and for office communication you will be using outlook for mail teams for meetings and chats service now for tickets that is clear right then what will be the this is a very common thing many of the people must know who has who are from the it background but some may know but i have found people who are switching to SCCM from service desk but they do not know about such things okay moving forward so then monthly patching we have the person who has completed the SCCM admin course must know that what is the monthly patching every second tuesday microsoft releases patches right so this month second tuesday was 12 so microsoft released the patches we sync those patches in SCCM and we deploy it right so every month we do that activity and that is done in the phase wise manner like 10% machines of the complete environment then 20 30 whatever uh, you can do you can do in that manner then we have patch reports we have to send the reports to a client right and we have to take care of the compliance also that we reach the compliance and there are not there is no failure on most of the machines few machines will fail for the update but mass number of machines should not fail so that is the patching activity every month we SCCM admin deploy new software updates patches to machines and take care of the compliance right then we take care of the client health we make sure that our machines are active on the SCCM console if machines are not, not active they will not receive the deployments that comes under the assets and compliance and we have your devices our test environment i have only one active device rest all are not as of now active so we have to make sure most of the device or all the device should be active right that is known as the compliance part now uh, in organizations user needs new applications or applications may get old and there are application owners which ask SCCM team to deploy new applications right so we get the request from application owner and they ask us to put a new application and then deploy it to machines that is done through the change request then after that we work on monthly changes it could be anything it could be some changes in the environment if we are upgrading the SCCM version if there is a new application right those things 
all these done done through changes and those changes are assigned to l2 or maybe l3 uh, level engineers of SCCM admin so they perform those changes in the environment then we work on the remediation part like if there is any any kind of component broken in the SCCM environment it could be a management point it could be a distribution point right if there is any component which is not working if there is a issue with uh, reporting issue with management point issue with distribution point replication is not working anything which is broken in the SCCM environment we have to fix this fix that this is the job of the SCCM admin and uh, components maintenance certificates if there is any certificate we have to take care of it we have to upgrade the sccm environment like we have to take care of this uh, version it could be latest or n minus one right this version that is 2303 now for my lab environment we have to take care of it right then we have few other tasks which your team lead or the l3 can assign to you which is Maybe your task sequence needs to be updated uh, like Windows. We were using Windows 10. Now we have to use Windows 11 for the deployment. So we have to create a new task sequence for that, right? Uh, reports, monthly reports, patching report, or if client is asking for any particular application, how many users are application, how many users are, are using a particular application, we need to provide the report for that. Some infra issues like there could be some issues, some component broken, something needs to be changed. Those tasks we have to do with your L3 or if your L3 knows that you can do it, you have to perform it. Then the next option is tools, which I already explained. Like you use Outlook for mails, for teams and meetings, right? You can use your uh, team software, which looks like this. You can schedule your go to your calendar you can see your meetings here invites right you can chat with the people it will give you notifications so check this icon right it looks like this teams it is used for team communication for mails you have outlook and for tickets you have a service now uh, which looks like this which i already showed you Right, it looks like this. You have ticket with the INC number, change with CH, and service request with SR. It will start. Right, then you should know what is the difference between incident, service request, and changes. So, briefly, if I explain, incident is something if something was working and it broke, like user was user was using some application and now it is not working, maybe due to the recent update. The application is not working user will raise the incident service request user is asking for some special permissions like admin request uh, like user requesting for admin rights on the laptop right which we do not provide usually so you have you user need to raise the service request changes user always use incident and service request changes as for infra changes like if SCCM admin want to upgrade the SCCM or want to make any change in the environment that change needs to be raised in the service now all these are service now uh, terms we have to raise change incident or service request so you can you can search online you can find some more details about it uh, so pretty much that's it if you want to uh, put some more or you need some more information on any of the topic you can put in the comment section and I will create a separate video on that apart from that I have the tutorials SCCM tutorials on my channel you can check those also so thank you let's see when I can give you a next video on any other topic till then uh, go through it